Joao Chianca, Ezekiel Lau, Nihimana Bry, and John Mel. Four surfers enter, two will advance into the round of 32, and an ultra important heat for Joao Chianca and Ezekiel Lau. And uh, that just makes this wave so special. Joao Chianca, he opened up with a 2.67. Here's his second effort. A couple of quick snaps for the Brazilian and puts it down and really dials in all of his equipment. Here's the replay of his last wave. He's always so fast and on edge. That's, that's why I was saying. Bry, Mihimana on the backhand, just gets one lip glide before that wave closes out. John Mel, he's gonna take it to the backhand. The Santa Cruz surfer winds up off the bottom. Nice hit off the top, glides a backhand floater. One more time for the finish for the second generation professional surfer, John Mel. Ezekiel Lau, Ezekiel always commands the lineup, but John got this one from him. So well done there from John Mel. And he did three turns, definitely the best. Best turn was that last maneuver right there, straight up. Nothing crazy, but it should be an okay score. It's a nice set wave, Kaipo. Yeah, and beautiful water angle here as you can see him get up on the roof for that backhand float, drops back in, able to get on his heels quick enough to get to the next section. John Mel on his second wave finds another corner. Nice glide in the lip there for Mel. Back up again, little catchy, but forces a finish. Here we go, here's our first look at Ezekiel Lau winding up off the bottom. Zeke snaps it, throwing a ton of spray around the corner again, layback hack. Pushing the back foot and a little busy work on the inside section here, toilet bowl to finish off. Zeke very patient, almost waited half the heat for that wave right there and I'd like to say it paid off for him. So let's take a look at the replay here, Zeke Yulau. Zeke, again, very patient. He wants two set waves this morning. Keep it really simple and powerful. Two nice layback snaps there from Zeke. Definitely, you know, th this is Zeke's start in the heat. He didn't go too crazy there. He just went for his bread and butter. Zeke does these turns in his sleep. Nice little snap, very quick. You gotta be quick at Hollywood because it's a fast acting wave. Little layback hammer there from Zeke. That's not too bad. Probably, I'm guessing, the best score so far in his heat. Joao Shianka just earned the five point ride. He's up again on wave number three for Shianka. Little inside foamy one, so he's really got to get some work. Maybe just feeling out that shorter equipment at the 16 minute mark. Ezekiel Lau scratching into this one's going to be the Tahitian Goofy for me, Manabrai. Good looking wave. Long bottom turn, big snap off the top. Comes around the corner again. Vert on the backhand. And a shallow water as he nears the toilet bowl section for the finish. And a controlled finish for Mihimana Bra. He's bound to produce a big score. Ross, this was a 6.67 for Mihimana Bra. Strong, uh, heavy-footed Tahitian right here. He's not, uh, no mess around, frills, uh, kind of a solid power surfer. And it got, a, you know, that's a pretty big score here. So again, we've been talking about John Mel and how he's so in such great rhythm with set waves, but um, you know, Mihimana got himself a beautiful wave here. Two quality sections. Again, nothing really progressive, just kind of throwing his board up 12 o'clock, uh, but that's undeniable. Those are critical sections, and the judges love that. John Mel spotted a set and got it. Here we go. Off the bottom, hooks off the top with veracity. One more time, throwing the tail a little bit on that one. Cuts it short in the toilet bowl section as it goes over those coral heads. Joao Chianca Chumbinho on that shorter 5'11 now with a great hack. Another hack, quick feet, but this wave is going to let him down a little bit, tapers off really quickly. Starting out with Joao Chianca. So Joao, behind the eight ball, he's on the other side of rhythm. You know, John Mel, uh, Mihimana, uh, and even Zeke are, are getting some big quality waves, and Joao is getting smaller waves, but he's just trying to perform at a really high level to get keeper scores. Got a 5.7 for this wave right here. And a really sharp angled turn right there. I love that turn. A lot of power, a lot of zip. He's not afraid to, to kick the fins out. So uh, we'll, we'll keep watching Joao. Yeah, he seems calm. Joao Chianco is going to take this because he's sitting in last priority. 
And looks like he's floating through that section. Nice car for Chumbinho. And works that wave over for all it's worth. Hey, not bad for being fourth priority and picking up a scrap there. Yeah, well, let's, let's really dissect this replay from Joao because he's going to force the issue from Zeke. Floater to start, not a whole lot of points in that. It's a smaller wave, but really nice turn there. Layback jam, another slash from Joao, lots of energy. And that was a nice way to finish the wave, uh, a little tail blast on that whitewash. So a smaller wave, that's not going to help him, but a pretty exciting wave, really. Uh, the float down the line, kind of critical even though it's a floater. And uh, it showed a lot of variety for sure. Here we go. Ultra important wave for Ezekiel Lau. Patient off the bottom, carves off the top. Needs more on this wave, tucks into a little barrel. Shampoos his way out of there. Two stage cutback in the toilet bowl section. Another snap and kicking the tail. But the interesting thing here is that Joao Shianka got that first wave of the set. If Joao improves upon his two wave total, he's going to increase the need for Ezekiel. Is that better than a five? I think so. I think he bettered his situation, but keep in mind Zeke only needs a four something. So he doesn't need a big score. Opening maneuver, just a slash, a barrel. Again, that's not going to get the judges super excited today because it's not very critical. Uh, then there's the, the little cutback and, and a slash. So again, I, I feel like that's definitely, you know, way better than a four or something like that either. So this is going to be really interesting for the judges. Iman Abrey, he wants to get into the conversation. He needs just a four point ride to go into second place. Of course, that map is previous to Joao and Ezekiel's rides checking. Yeah, so Zika 5.13. 6.03 for Joao Chianca. Joao goes to first. Zekiel in second. John Mel falls to second. Falls to third. Zeke just picked this heat apart. He played it so smart. Two set waves, got the job done, and he's scooting through. Well, number eight and nine on the rankings with some good sportsmanship, and they're both happy because they're moving on into the round of 32. We'll be moving on to a commercial break. When we come back, Joe and Rosie will talk you through the action.